welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing a long awaited wardrobe clear out video and I'm actually, I'm in two minds about this video because part of me cannot wait to do it, part of me is really dreading this. So I recently had a wardrobe clear out probably like probably about a month ago but today I want to be quite ruthless and um, we're getting into like the warmer spring weather now like it's going to be summer next month like I need to knuckle down and just decide what I'm getting rid of for good there's so many things in my wardrobe that I just don't wear um, and it's time to get rid of them and move on and just make space because the problem is I don't have that much storage I wouldn't say I have an extortionate amount of clothes but I don't have that much storage um, so I really need to kind of like make the best use of the storage that I have like the limited storage that I have um, and I recently got a few new pieces as well that I really really like um, and I feel like I like them a lot more than some pieces I've got in my wardrobe at the minute and I also have like quite a lot of like duplicate items like not the same thing but similar and I'd rather have like one really good quality dress than like three really cheap ones if that makes sense so this is what I'm going to be doing today I'm going to be trying to minimalize things but I just wanted to introduce it while I was sat down um, and give myself like five minutes to prepare myself for this video because I feel like it's going to take a few hours so yeah I mean I really hope you enjoyed this video the wardrobe kind of changes quite often so I get new things um, I'm not promoting buying like a lot of fast fashion I am actually very fortunate to work with certain brands every month um, that do very kind like gift me clothes um you know and things like that um so that is why I do have quite a lot of clothes um but I never throw anything away I always resell everything or um you know like make use of it or like give it to charity or friends and things like that um so nothing ever gets thrown away everything that does um get taken out my wardrobe today will either be going on my depop or my instagram selling page so whichever one you have um i will link them both in the description box um and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm kind of nervous i'm gonna show you what we're working with and then i'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna go through uh, my wardrobe i don't know if we're gonna do everything today but we're gonna do the majority of things i know a lot of people have like a winter wardrobe and a summer wardrobe i don't have that everything is in one so this is my, my main problem and there's certain things that i just haven't worn so it's time to bite the bullet yeah i sell quite a lot of things through depop um every month so yeah i do like good bundle deals and i also do mystery parcels for 25 pounds as well which is just like a little bundle of clothes which is a surprise um so if you like my fashion you'll kind of know that you'll like what you're gonna get really i just want to quickly say if you do enjoy this video please do give me a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below as well let me know maybe some new video suggestions and things like that as well so yeah let's get into it so this is what we're working with at the minute so these clothes here are new pieces so if you've watched my recent sheen haul um these are the pieces that i actually kept so i kept this little white top this nude dress this pink dress um oops that white top that's on the floor and that white dress uh, both white tops sorry and then at the back is a dress from Zara that I need to try on but I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it so they're all the new pieces that I need to put away so at the minute there's no space for them so that's what we need to sort out um, and then over here I've actually got a new rail so it is taking up a little bit of space in my room but I don't really mind because I only use this part of my room for filming um, and content and things like that so I mainly like get ready and stuff in this part of my room sorry ignore the mess um, but yeah this part is mainly for filming this is what you guys usually see so I'm my rail I've got all my kind of new in pieces I'm not going to be getting rid of anything from here because I just love everything so I've got this little tweed um jacket from Jing which is new it's still got the tags on I've got this little white dress from my own brand Prince, Princess Kachar which is new as well um I've got my Balmain jacket which I just absolutely adore so that's there um I've got this white blazer which I am going to keep but it needs fixing I need to stitch some buttons back on there I've got this other dress from Jing which again I adore and then I've got my Santini Couture coat um, and then I also hang on my, here my Gucci bag and my Louis Vuitton bag as well because these are just like I was going to say staple pieces but obviously they are very extra pieces but this is what I want people to see if they come in my room it just helps me feel a little bit inspired like 
I don't know how it sounds really weird but just seeing like some of my favorite pieces hung up it just makes me feel inspired like I want to film fashion content so yeah I just love having this there and it's also great for like filming videos and things um so let's just move that skirt because that needs to find a home um but down here I have all my shoes so again I'm not going to be getting ready uh, rid of any of these so I have Chanel flip-flops and um, these little pumps from ASOS these um Gucci sandals in the corner um and then I have some Dior slides um some Hermes style slides and these Chanel espadrilles so that's everything on there these are my favorite pieces so yes they're not going anywhere and then on this little display bit here I have these shoes from Ego which I am yet to wear but I love them um and then I also have my Dior bag at the top as well so yeah once again they're not going anywhere they're staying um so yeah I'm gonna show you my wardrobe now I'm not ready but I'm going to show you my wardrobe. This is the main portion of my wardrobe and it looks quite mismatched. It does have a bit of an organisation to it but I really struggle to organise it because to be honest there's too much stuff in here. It's very very crammed, um, very very crammed um, and these drawers which I really need take up half of my wardrobe which isn't great uh, but I really need them so in the drawers I have underwear swimwear and gym stuff I have nowhere else to put this stuff so it needs to be there um, which is it is annoying I'm not gonna lie but there's nowhere else to put it so yeah and then on the bottom I have these three things here that need repairing so they're either too big or they need buttons sewing on um, and then I've got all my tops so I've got like corset tops um, going out tops like shirts um, and casual tops so that's all there and then at the top here I've got like casual dresses um, all through here and then I've got like jumpers you know how I was saying my winter stuff is in with my summer stuff this is everything I have so all my jumpers are there uh, cardigans top some more tops um, and then I have like leather leggings somewhere just like all squished you can't even see what I've got because it's all squished and then it goes into going out stuff so I have too much going out stuff um, some of this stuff I haven't even worn you can't even see what I've got because you because you can't even like open it uh, you probably recognize some of this stuff from my Instagram and there's my one black dress wow um, so yeah some of this needs to go um, and then I have some snow boots down there as well which again I have nowhere star um, and then up here this is a little bit more storage it's not great so yeah it's really not great but this is where I put all my bottoms, so this is shorts and skirts, um, spare hangers, and then I have all my drawers which are busting open, so I have like pyjamas, loungewear, um, jeans in the bottom, and work stuff. So yeah, there's just, it's, it's crazy. And then in this last one here, I have all of my two pieces and tweed sets, which again don't move, um, jackets, and then I have summer spring summer jackets here so i've got like denim jackets leather jacket i've got like one fur thing but they're mainly light jackets and then at the end i've got going out dresses well like fancy dresses so i've got two dresses there um and then in here i've just got like hats gloves <laughs> bags umbrella all my heels well all my shoes really all my shoes are here and i have dressing gowns on the end of there so i feel like i maximize my storage pretty well but it's just too squished i can't see what i've got so yeah it's time for a clear out so yeah like i was saying i don't know if i'm gonna do everything today but i'm gonna try and do my main wardrobe and my skirts and shorts today i don't know if i'm gonna get like my coat shoes things like that because to be fair there's not really any off the top of my head there's no coats and shoes that i actually want to get rid of um but it's mainly like my bulk of my wardrobe so yeah i think i'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna go through my wardrobe and see what we've got i'm gonna take everything out reorganize it all i just feel like i need this like you know when you've just done such a deep clean you just feel so like satisfied that's what i need right now this is the best place to put you guys so i can bring things out i do wish this was a double wardrobe like looking at it on camera now makes me realize how small this actually is but i know some people have a lot less space than this so i am fortunate for the space i have but i think it's time i'm gonna take everything out and then we're gonna go by it one by one um, obviously I'm going to skip like some pieces that I'm definitely keeping but I'm going to like go through the majority and show you guys what I've got, show you guys where my clothes are from and yeah I'm actually really excited to get stuck in now so let's get started. <laughs> Doesn't that just look so 
weird like that is just i've not seen it like this in like five years like that is so weird if you could see this pile oh my gosh but anyway let's get started i'm going to try to be as brutal, brutal as i can and um, if i put things on like a maybe pile after the video i'm going to try them on and do like a final decision um but yeah i'm nervous so first piece so this is an ob ob poly dress and i do love this but i just feel like it's had its day like i've worn it I've worn it once but I bought it in lockdown so I feel like you know like in lockdown when we were buying so much stuff and I thought oh, I don't know it's really hard because I really like it I think this is probably going to go in the maybe pile possibly sell because I do love it but I just don't think I want to wear it again um so yeah I think no for that one at the minute this is another hard one because this is such a gorgeous two-piece set so I'll take it off so you can see it's like this cute little crop top with diamond straps um, and this skirt which is so nice I love it I feel like it's proper like clubbing wear though and I don't really go clubbing that much anymore anymore but I feel like I like this one more than the old poly dress so I think I'm gonna keep this one for now I need to change the hanger but yeah I think I'm gonna keep this one for now um, because I don't think I'm ready to let go of this one yet and I don't think I've worn it enough I've only worn it for a photo shoot so yeah I think I'm gonna keep that one this one is a definite keep I recently got this it's similar to that one and I prefer this but I like the sparkle on that one so I feel like I'm just gonna keep that for a little bit longer but I love this one this is from Sheen and it's so nice so this is like a pink crop top it's so similar to the old poly one so it's like a pink crop top um it's stunning like an asymmetric style scrunch bum and it's ruched it's so flattering honestly this is so nice so i'm definitely keeping that because i think i'm gonna wear it next weekend this is like another old poly dupe i love this this is from sheen again um and i've worn it once but i really love it i feel like it's such a cute like summery set and i don't really have anything this color um or this pattern i really love this pattern so yeah i'm gonna keep this i need to change the hanger but yeah i really really like this one i love this one actually and i've worn it once um it's got really like really cute memories attached to it so yeah i'm gonna keep this one this is the only black dress i own but i'm gonna keep it and the reason is because it's really really flattering um and it's also handy to just have like one black night out dress for like you know when your friends are asking you to go out last minute you don't really want to put something together but you know like you've got that one thing that is just so flattering and you kind of like don't stand out too much that is that type of thing so it's like got like glitter in it this is from princess couture my own brand um and it's got scrunch bum it's really really low back and this like ties round it's honestly it's so flattering um so yeah i'm gonna keep this because it's just handy to have this dress this is like a hard one to show because it is like halt neck and it's completely backless I do like this but I wore it on a photo shoot and no word of a lie like my boob fell out it's not great so it's really really cute but I just feel like it's it's not me I think if I was gonna go on holiday yes but like in England probably not and when am I really gonna go on holiday that much but it's like totally backless this like goes round your head and um, so it, like crosses over but honestly there's no support in there like at all like I feel like I'm just gonna fall out so yeah, I think this is going to be a no or like a maybe, but for now, I think it's going to be a no. Same again with this one. I do like this and I think it's like a good staple. I always like picture myself when I'm a bit older, like wearing this, for like a birthday with like heels because it's like really like, I don't know, it's like that bandage fabric. I think it's a good staple dress, but again, I don't know, is it me? I'm not sure. So I think this is going to be like another maybe, probably not but I think I'm just gonna try it on just to make sure. Okay, so this dress, I've worn this one once. This is, I think this was like, I wore this with my friend Sophia um, when we went out. Um, I think it was like the first time we saw each other after lockdown, after like two years. So I feel like it's got like a bit of like sentimental value to it, but I don't know, like I got it like really cheap. Where's it from? It's from Meshki. So I got it really cheap on Depop and it's lovely. It reminds me of Grace Foley, I don't know why. Um, and it's cute because it's strapless and it's got like this little silver buckle and it's cut out and it's satin but I don't know I just think I've got nicer I don't know it's cute but I think I've got nicer so I think for now 
for now it's a sell so this one i recently just got this um it's from my brand princess kachal but it's literally a dupe of the old poly one um but i sell them a lot cheaper <laughs> but yeah it's literally a dupe of the old poly one it's so nice um i actually bought the old poly one and i didn't like it sent it back i got this one and i love it i don't know what it is like i, I don't know why a bit weird but i really 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 like this i wore it to a shoot recently and i loved it it was so flattering like the, the straight neck and i just think like this uh, compared to this I felt so much nicer in this so yeah I think the ruching as well so definitely keeping that one again I'm really sorry to disappoint you girls because this I love this dress so much like yeah I'm keeping this one I love it I've just got it from a poly it's so pretty I wore it to um, Rebecca's but at a birthday party um I didn't wear it for long but I'm gonna wear it again soon because I love it I feel amazing in this so yeah definitely keeping that one right this next dress is also so cute like it's kind of like that house of CB or poly style but it's actually long so it's floor length um I've not worn it yet but I want to keep it because I just think it's such a good dress like it's really fitted it's all the way like ankle length and I just think it's a good thing to have I think I'll wear it on a holiday it's really classy um and I think with like some strappy heels it'll just look so nice so I'm definitely keeping that also i've got a few dresses like this so next dress so again this is new i've not worn this um i have so many pink satin dresses i know like this is why i needed to clear out because i have too many um but i really really like this again this is definitely more clubbing it's really fitted it's really flattering this is from sheen um and it's got like this crisscross front and it's got like these big straps i don't know but i just really like it it's got proper cups in there as well so for now i'm gonna keep this one the amount of pink is just is ridiculous next dress i recently just got this off depop again it's like a dupe of the old poly one but i actually did buy the old poly one and um it was like a salmon color i didn't like it so i really wanted to get this one instead because it looked more of like a true pink color and i do really like it again i haven't worn it yet because like i don't really go out that much i don't really go out like clubbing that much i feel like this is like a clubbing dress same as some of the others um but i want to keep it because it's not had like it's time yet and i just i really like it i really like like this i think it's different so i'm going to keep that one as well this is going to be so hard because I just feel like at the minute I'm just keeping a lot of this stuff. This dress is so nice. The quality on this, this is from Sheen. I think it was like £25 on Sheen but it's so nice. The quality is insane. It's the most beautiful nude colour. So this is more nude than pink. On camera it looks pink but it's definitely more nude. Um, and I just feel like this with my skin tone and hair just looks so nice. I wore it to my work's Christmas. Um, drinks and meal and i just loved it like i felt so classy in this um it's not had its time yet and i want to wear it to something else so i want to keep that one as well this is the puff sleeve dress that i got from asos um i've not worn it yet and this is the type of thing where like i'm not sure where i would wear it to but i'm hopefully planning on going to paris hopefully this year and i feel like this is the type of thing i would wear and take to paris the one thing is like it's missing a, a pearl which is really annoying and my boyfriend actually hates this dress like he, he, he doesn't like it at all um which i get i get why he doesn't like it but i really like it so yeah i'm gonna keep this because it's not at its time yet and i will wear it at some point okay right we're going on to white dresses now which breaks it up a little bit <laughs> so we'll see what um what we can do oh, this is gonna be so hard wow so hard i don't know what to do about this one it's still got its tags in this is the problem so this is from femlux this is from a collaboration i did with femlux last year um i really really like this dress but i've not worn it i feel like if i was gonna pick this dress i would pick something else but i'm not sure i think i need to try this on so it's gonna go in the maybe pile because i just think like having a staple white dress that you can throw on is a good thing to have um so yeah it's gonna go in the movie pile because i need to try it on not sure how i feel about this dress i got this from sheen um i got it from a specific meal that we were going to go to um in manchester but then we didn't end up going so i, I never wore it again so much of stuff in my wardrobe hasn't been worn i know it's, it's so bad um but yeah i feel like it's not had its time yet but i don't have any dresses with sleeves so i think it's kind of good to have have like one dress with sleeves um for maybe when it gets a bit colder and it's got like the cut out as well so I think I think I'm gonna keep this one um, or I might try it on with the other one as well because I, I have too many white dresses I can't keep everything this is the problem I really really love this this is from I think this is from Sheen possibly um, I love this it's it's what I wore to me and my boyfriend's first anniversary which is kind of funny looking back because it looks a bit like something you'd wear like on your Hindu or like 
you know what I mean like when you're gonna get married but I really really love this dress I think it's good to just have like one classy white dress that's like it's um below your knee so it's like really fitted like a pencil dress it's so nice so yeah I'm gonna keep this one a bit different you can't really see it properly but this is from my brand um Princess Princess Kachawa. I will link down below um, because a lot of my clothes are from there. I've got loads more to show. Um, but this is so cute. So I had this in white and pink, but I'm actually selling the pink one because my Jing dress here is similar. Like, can you see how they're similar? So the pink one is actually currently on my Depop. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep the white one because I feel like I've not actually worn it yet. It's not had its time and it's so cute. I love like the fabric, if you can see. It's like this like jacquard fabric um, and I love the buttons as well. So I'm going to keep this one because I don't have any white A-line dresses. From Sheen and again, I haven't worn it. Oh my gosh. But I really like it. I, it's like a two-in-one dress. So it's got puff sleeves. So I feel like it looks really cute. But then these are detachable so they can come off. And then it's like a clubbing dress. So like imagine if you went out for dinner and then you just whipped your sleeves off and went clubbing after. I feel like... I'm gonna try it on with the other white ones because I just I don't need three I don't need three white clubbing dresses so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try it on but I think I'm gonna keep this one and the other two mm, I'm not sure I think I might get rid of the other two and keep this one but I'm gonna have to try them all on so I'm gonna try all them three white dresses on oh. okay so next dress I love this dress so much and it's got sentimental value as well actually so I wore this for my 21st birthday and I don't know if I will ever wear it again but I love it like this is me in a dress literally I got it on Depop um I think I got it on Depop um for a lot cheaper than it was online I remember oh, I was just so happy when I got this dress I wore it um out and I just felt amazing in it um, it's a little bit damaged but it's just the fabric but I just I just love it I love it it's it's beautiful I might wear it for like Halloween or something but yeah I think I'm just gonna keep this I, I love it too much a little bit different this one so it's Paul to next style um, this was actually a JJ's house gifted collaboration from quite a few years now I think it was maybe like 2018 2019 that I got gifted this and I actually wore this to my friend's um, parents wedding which I just I remember that weekend and it was such a good weekend I can't get rid of this because I love the dress still and I feel like I probably will wear it again one day um it's really classy and I feel like just keeping like things that are like knee length is just good for like when I'm a little bit older as well when I don't want to wear mini dresses all the time but it's so cute it like comes around your neck so it's quite high and then it like fastens at the back and then it's got a cut out it's honestly so nice <sighs> this dress this dress I think it might be time to say goodbye to this dress I have worn this Quite a lot I've worn this to a wedding I've worn it on a couple of nights out and it does make me feel amazing but I think it might have come to the time to get rid of it I don't know maybe I'm gonna have to try it on because it's been so long but I just can't see myself reaching for this <sighs> but I'm not sure I really do love it but it is quite old now I don't know what do you guys think let me know into my pile so I'm going to keep this because I haven't worn it yet um, and it's a really 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 flattering dress so it's satin, it's like a cowl neck and it's got a low back with diamante across it, it's very very clubbing so I'm going to keep it for a little bit and if I don't wear it I'm going to sell it because it's that type of one where I'm not really attached to it but it's good to have so I'm going to keep that for like them clubbing occasions. My out clothes are out of the way, um, let's get into the next part. I just feel like this is a staple, I'm not in love with it. But I really like the ruffly sleeves um, and I haven't really worn it that much but I, d I like the buttons um, and I just think it's like quite a staple really for like I don't really have much in this colour so this is hard again all these pieces are brown by the way so there's quite a lot of brown coming up but I don't have like that much brown compared to everything else in my wardrobe so I feel like I might keep a lot of this stuff um, this top again is similar these both tops are from my brand Princess Couture they're just like I feel like they're just staples I'm not a massive lover of this neckline it's quite high they are very similar later on this year um, and redecide because I like the buttons on the arms but I prefer this one cute brown balmain top definitely keeping that 
I love this set so much. I haven't worn it enough, but I love it. I've worn it a few times. It's just it's just big for me. That's the only thing. So this is from H H L Fashions. It's this bodysuit which goes with quite a lot, and it goes it does match with the skirt. I actually wore this uh, for Christmas. It's like an A line pleated skirt that goes with the bodysuit, and it looks so cute together. It really goes with like brown and pink. It's really good outfit for like autumn winter. So. Yeah, I'm going to keep that, definitely. I do really like this. I actually feel really nice in this dress. And it's really soft. It's from Sheen. Um, I think I've worn it once. It's quite short, but I really, really like it with, like, brown knee-high boots. And it's really nice and stretchy and soft. So I'm definitely going to keep this because I don't really have many jumper dresses. So this is from Primark. It's brand new. It's got the tags on. I only got this, I think, last week. It was in, like, one of my recent vlogs. So I'm going to keep this because um, I think I'm going to wear it quite a lot through, like, the winter months. Oh, my gosh, this dress. Like, are these two? similar do I need two? <laughs> oh my god so I prefer this with the stretch and the fabric this is longer and it's got cute buttons on the arms I think I'm gonna try this one on but I'm definitely definitely keeping this because it's got like a little notch in the bottom as well it's really cute so I'm definitely keeping this one um, and this one I'm going to try on because I'm not, I, I don't need two that are similar. So I've got this from Sheen. I haven't actually worn it yet. So I guess I got it like right at the end of, of winter when it, it's too warm to wear now and it's too wintry. Um, but yeah, this is from Sheen um, and it's like an A-line jumper dress. So I'm definitely keeping this because I don't have any A-line jumper dresses. I feel like this is quite like a necessary piece um, and it looks really cute with brown boots. I have no idea how I've missed these but I have a couple more dresses so... This is the first one and this is from H&M. Um, I've, not, I've not worn this yet. I was going to wear this for New Year but I haven't worn it yet and I, I really like it. So it's a slip dress. So is it a slip dress? I don't know. But it's that kind of style. It's like a straight dress and I don't have anything like this. I don't have any straight dresses. It's got a straight neckline. I would say it's not the most flattering dress but it's really nice. I can imagine wearing this on holiday or like to a nice meal with a blazer. Um, that type of thing so yeah I'm gonna keep this because I don't really have anything like this at all then I have this dress so this it doesn't look much on the hanger but I've had this since I was 18 kind of got a bit of sentimental value but it was actually I wore this after an all-nighter um, because I went out for my birthday and then my mum was like taking me to town and we had like a really cute day in town but it's something I'm gonna keep because I love it. Um, it, it, it yeah, it's hard to style because it's A-line and it's like really dramatic and it's long sleeves but the quality is insane. I can't, let me see where this is from because I don't even know. It just says Lou Women's Fashion, Women's Fashion, like I don't even know but it feels designer. Um, it feels like amazing quality and I love it and I've had it for years and I'm not ready to part with it because when it's on it's beautiful again this is one of them where I'm like this is me in a dress like this and the house of CB1 and me in a dress so I just can't part with them I'm sorry guys just take up a lot of space in my wardrobe though the leggings keeping them because these and these are my staples love them white jumper so this is the same as the brown one um, I prefer this one and I need like white tops, white jumpers, so I'm keeping that. Oh my gosh, so I got this last year and I've not worn it. It's one of them where it's like, do I need a staple white soft roll neck? Um, or do I sell it? Because I just feel like the money that I would get from it, I might as well keep it. Um, obviously I've not worn it yet, but I think for now I'm gonna keep it. This is why I need a winter wardrobe because oh, there's no space. So. This is from River Island. I think I got it on ASOS actually, but I love this so much. It's this white jumper. It's my favourite white jumper. I've worn this to death. I've also got it in pink and I've worn it to death as well. Um, and it's got cute little buttons on it and frills and I love it. So I'm keeping that. It's a pink jumper. So this is a jumper dress from Sheen and I wore this quite a lot last year. This looks so cute, like draped off the shoulder with boots. I love this. I don't have anything like this at all. River Island um, pink one. I feel like it's got a hole in it somewhere, but I have worn this so much but I love it it's a staple so again I'm keeping this because I love it again the same as the brown and the white but I feel like I never ever I'm just looking at it in the mirror like I feel like I never ever reach for this so I think I might sell this or I might try it on because if I was gonna like put on a pink jumper I would put on that one not this one I love this jumper so much. This is from Sheen. Um, the quality isn't the best because um, it's gone through the wash quite a lot and it doesn't feel as soft as it once did. But I love this. It's just a simple, basic. It's very stretchy. It's very comfy. It goes under a lot of stuff and I love like the pattern on it. Um, 
so yeah i'm gonna keep this this is my last pink jumper so this is a really big oversized roll neck jumper and my friend actually borrowed this when she stayed over i just love it that it's oversized i got it on depop a while ago for like 20 something pound which was it was new as well but it's such a great quality jumper and it's so warm this is that perfect jumper for winter so yeah it looks cute with like leather leggings as well <laughs> bit of a jump but we're now into like spring summer dresses um can you tell that <laughs> yeah i really need a winter wardrobe because that big chunk is winter stuff so i wonder if like if i manage to get rid of a lot of stuff i can move my wardrobes around a bit um but yeah this is this cute little white play suit and i'm gonna keep this because this is a good throw on thing it's from primark so i feel like i'm not gonna get really any money from it it would just end up going to charity so i'm gonna keep this um because it's just like a good throw on piece and it actually looks really cute still styled with like cute flip-flops and like my nice gucci bag and stuff so this is a new dress from sheen i haven't worn it yet so i think i'm going to keep this because i really like the pattern um i have just recently got a zara dress so i'm going to try and keep everything comparing back to that um but the zara dress doesn't have this pattern so i think i'm going to keep this because i don't really have yeah, I don't really have anything like this, especially with like the tie. I've got something similar to it, so I'm going to put it to one side, um, but I really like this. Again, this is just like another throw-on dress. It's got them tie straps, which I love. It is important to have like a few white summer dresses because they do get like dirty and they do get like wrecked and stuff. And if you go on holiday, you want a few options. This dress, I haven't had it that long, but I'm going to get rid of it because I just feel like I've got similar. It's from Zara. I got it on Depop really, really cheap. And I actually wore it in a video um, a couple of weeks ago. Someone asked me where it was from. And I do really like it, but the colour is not really coming up on camera but the colour is quite yellow. I've got a few tweed pieces now um so this is this tweed dress um tweed pinafore dress I I'm not sure about this because it's not my favourite um but I don't really have any tweed dresses so this is something that I need to try on I think because this is a good winter piece like it's very warm but I don't know if it's me anymore so yeah, I need to try that one on, so I'm going to put it to one side. Wait, this is another tweed dress, another tweed pinafore dress. It's stunning, but it's huge. Um, so it's a size extra small. It's from Sheen. A lot of these pieces are from Sheen, these tweed bits. Um, so it definitely needs to be either tried on and either taken in or sold um, because it's so pretty. It's literally stunning, but I've only worn it once and I felt drowned in it because you can't wear a belt um, and it's too big. And to be honest, it's not flattering at all. It's, it's like below my knee and it's not flattering, even though it reminds me of like Gossip Girl and stuff it's not that flattering so i think i'm gonna get rid of it but i'm gonna have to try it on okay so this dress this is from sheen again and i love this i'm definitely keeping this because i don't wear it much but it's honestly stunning it's such a gorgeous piece when it's on and when it's styled this set oh my god it's still got the tags on see like some of this stuff i got even before lockdown and i've not worn it but i just this is gorgeous on but i just don't know if it's me so i think again i need to try it on but the quality it's just it's just beautiful it's such a thick um i don't know what this fabric's called like is it waffle waffle fabric i think possibly it's so so stunning and you can wear it separate as well so i think yeah i think i need to try it on but i do think i'm going to keep this because i think it's just not had its time yet white jumper dress i'm gonna keep this because it's fitted i don't have any white jumper dresses and i really like the sleeves it's the same one that i had in brown but the brown one i had two so i'm gonna sell one of the brown ones and then i'm gonna keep this one i think it's got tags in as well so i need to wear it i don't know where these dresses come from like now i've just got more summer dresses this one is from my brand princess couture this is a new one um and it's really gorgeous i don't know if i've already shown something like this like these are similar oh no this is fitted and this isn't fitted so i think i'm going to keep both for now um because this is brand new so well they're both new they both haven't been worn so I'm, for now i'm going to keep them both oh my gosh this is just it's actually giving me a headache like <sighs> white dresses all look the same this is the problem so i have this one from sheen that i got two years ago i love this one as well wow this is A-line and it's really pretty and it's got puff sleeves and it's got that like milkmaid neck. I really want to keep this one because I really like this. This is different. This is a halter neck dress which I'm going to keep because I feel like this is one of them dresses for when it's boiling or like putting over swimming costume. Um, so yeah, 
like a bikini and stuff on holiday so i'm going to keep this again another white dress this is shirt fabric um it's a square neck um and i've seen this on and it's it's so nice on i just i just have so many i don't know what actually i'm going to do because i can't wear all of these but i think i need to do like a trial session of all of the white dresses and decide which white dress is the ultimate white dress <laughs> They've all got puff sleeves. Well, at least I know now I don't need any more white dresses because this is just beyond a joke. These are my last two white dresses. So I have this shirt dress. Oh, this is so hard because I really like this. I got gifted this from Sheen, uh, but it's got the tags in. It's not great to wear. It's quite uncomfortable to put on. So it's got a side zip um, here. So it's really hard to kind of like put on. And I've got one similar from Wonder Doll as well, which is actually on Depop. I just think like I like this but I've got that shirt one which I would wear more same fabric as this but this is really strappy um, I don't have anything strappy and it's also fitted with like a notch out of it so for now oh, I'm sorry guys I'm gonna have to keep most of these white dresses because I just can't decide that I love them all to a few different coloured summer dresses so well this is a play suit and i'm definitely keeping this i got this on depop um, i actually buy a lot of my clothes on depop this dress i recently got on depop um from drop some sparkle on instagram um i really like it but i just don't know if it's me it's quite a different style so i really like the skirt and i like the puff sleeve but the top part i don't think it suits me very well i don't know if you can even see the like pattern but it's quite like vintage style and it's got like a big bow um i think it needs to be tried on but i think i might possibly resell this 100 percent go for this one so i think yeah i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna I think it's gonna be a sell for that one. So pink summer dress i just got this from sheen and i really really like it actually it's very very soft it's like a different fabric it's kind of see-through um if that even makes sense i mean it is lined but it looks kind of see-through um but yeah it, it's really really pretty so i'm gonna keep that one Our space again this is a dress from jilly hicks you can barely even see it let me see if i can take it off the hanger and show you guys but yeah you can it's really hard to to show but if this is great for holiday um it's like a scoop neck with a really really low cut out back it is quite short so i don't know if it's meant to be a top but i've always worn it as a dress but i love it it's one of them pieces that i've had for years and i just i really love it i don't think i can part with it dress that i got from zara and i actually recently wore this like all weekend i really liked it it's like um, a corduroy fabric which makes me feel a bit funny but this is great for spring and also like autumn winter though with like brown boots and stuff um it's like warm it's well it's, it's really warm Um, i was actually boiling in this um but yeah i really like it it's just like a good throne piece it looks really cute with a belt so i'm gonna keep that and this is another throne piece so i think i got this on um depop a couple years ago but it's from asos i actually genuinely think i've had this since i was like 16 it's probably one of the older pieces in my wardrobe but it's so flattering so it's a strapless play suit it looks like a dress but it's a play suit and it's so pretty it's got this from asos and it's probably the only mint green thing i have in my whole wardrobe i really like the color on me so for now i'm going to definitely keep this um but if i don't end up wearing it i will sell it because i have it also in pink that you're going to see in a minute and i love the pink one more but i do also really like this one so yeah we'll just see the dress i just recently got from my boutique princess couture it's so nice it's got this little notch in it it's like a straight neck and i think i can also wear this in winter with a shirt under it or like a white jumper so i'm definitely going to keep this because i barely have anything blue in my wardrobe this is that pink dress that i was just talking about i love this from asos this is tight it's a size extra extra small um it is tight but i love it i got this on depot but this is like a sold out dress it's so nice on so i'm keeping that put in the wrong place but this is an a sort uh this is a river island shirt i love this i don't think i could part with this and um, the buttons are stunning like silver diamond buttons so i'm going to keep this again this is my stunning dress from wonder doll so i'm going to keep this because this is perfect for winter but it needs sorting out if anyone knows how to get like the string the ribbon back through then let me know because otherwise i have no idea what i'm going to do because it doesn't look right without the ribbon um so it needs refreading through but it comes with this belt and it's oh, it's so flat it doesn't look anything on the hanger but it's beautiful on last 
oh my god but not least is this denim dress i found this in tk maxx a couple weeks ago i feel like i might have bought it for the sake of it but i don't have any denim dresses um in like blue in denim blue so i'm gonna keep it because i got it for seven pound and it's ex zara so yeah i'm gonna keep this and if i don't wear it i'll just sell it okay so there's definitely a lot more room now in this i can actually see the clothes I have whereas before I couldn't so that's so much better so we're halfway through and um, there's just the bottom section to do and my shorts and skirts don't know if you can see like the amount of clothes in this pile but there's actually so much um so yeah I think I've I think I've been good, I think I've been ruthless, I think filming it helps um, because I've been more ruthless than I usually would be but honestly everything in this pile I don't wear so it's just like what's the point of keeping it um, and it's still obviously full but a wardrobe is full um, but I can see everything now, I can move everything around um, which is so much better so yeah. Um, obviously I've still got a lot of pink dresses, I've still got a lot of white dresses, they need to be minimalised but for now it's just it's just too difficult, like there's just too much that I love. Um, so if I don't wear, I think I'm going to give this summer as a test, like there's like six white dresses here, if I don't wear a couple of them they're going, so that's my test. Um, and also for these, if I don't wear any of these in summer they're going. While I've just finished that, I'm just going to put two of my new pieces in the wardrobe now I can fit them all in. So I've got this dress from Sheen, which I kept from my last haul, which is so nice. It's so Bridgerton inspired. Um, and then also this one, which is a midi dress, because I don't have any midi dresses really. Um, I know the other one is like similar to that, but I'm just going to keep them both for now. And like, if I don't wear it, I'll sell it another time. Starting with the bottom part of my wardrobe. So again, I'm going to get everything out. We're going to go through it all. I'm actually feeling a lot better about this because I don't actually know what I'm going to get rid of this. I probably won't get too rid of too much from the bottom pack because it is just tops and I do wear quite a lot of them but again I'm a little bit of a hoarder with, a, with like corset tops and stuff so I have a lot of corset tops definitely my weakness is a corset top and a satin dress as you can tell I think a lot of people have the same problem so I'm going to get it all out and then again we're going to do the same thing as you can see at the bottom of my wardrobe I don't have a lot of space so what I'm going to do is obviously what I keep I'm going to put in here and also now I've got a bit of space at the top I'm going to like squish some stuff in um, stuff that like goes together so that's what I'm going to do um, and then hopefully I can like move some other stuff around um, so anyway let's get stuck in so this bodysuit from Primark I've only had it about a month and I've worn it loads so I'm definitely keeping that is the shirt that I showed earlier from River Island and this is another shirt from River Island as well I don't have many shirts so I'm definitely keeping both heads up guys I feel like I'm um, gonna keep a lot from this so yeah this is a satin uh, shirt like blouse type top I don't have anything like this that I'm going to keep it I've got my Balmain tops these are both really damaged and look at the size difference <laughs> this is the kids one that fits me and this is an adult one that's too big um funny but um yeah they're both like really damaged I need to get some new ones but they're so expensive um like look at the state of that it's so bad but I love them I love them to death and you can tell that I wear them a lot okay, so this jumper I need to go in the jumper section but this is like a jumper blouse and I love this I just, oh my god I bought it in September and I've worn it to death I get quite a lot of compliments on this from River Island so I'm keeping that I've got this from Sheen for a while and I've not worn it I'm still yet to wear it but I really like it and I don't have anything like this um, and I just think it's so gorgeous. Um, I need to get like a top to go under it I think but it's got like this ruffle front and it's like this organza so it's see through but I just think with jeans or something this will look really pretty and I love the buttons. It's so good for Sheen is this. I've worn this top once and I'm not in love with it. I think it's, I don't know, I've got nicer. That's just honestly how I feel, I've got nicer and I don't reach for it. Um, it's a little bit tight as well so yeah i'm gonna sell this one okay, i just took a five minute break because now we're on to corsets and this is the hardest bit i will be surprised if i get rid of one but i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be surprised if i get rid of one because i love them so much like you know the jeans and a nice top vibe for me it's corset and jeans it is my vibe so first one is from sheen i've worn it once um I really like it, it's like a little bit different because of the diamantes, it's, um, I think it's like a dupe of the Opoly one, I've got quite a lot of like Opoly dupes if you haven't, it, if you haven't realized, so I got gifted this by Sheen, um, I don't have anything like this, so this is like all hook and eyes down the front, it's really lacy, it looks a little bit more like a lingerie corset, um, and it's all crisscross at the back, it's so cute, you don't even need to tie it up because it's just stretchy, it's like a tie back top this is so cute it's so cute to just throw on with stuff it's so cute to have your back out this top 
from um, Shein and I really really like it. I've wanted to top like this for ages. It's that like milkmaid style with really long sleeves. I don't have many sleeved crop tops so again I'm going to keep this. Difficult. So now a bit like the dress situation I've got like three tops which are all similar but I've not worn any of them yet. Um, so this is like a really cute throw on uh, lacy one which goes off the shoulder. It's so cute. Um, this one is like similar to the one I've just shown but it's with short sleeves and it ties up at the top um, and then this one is like a short sleeved uh, ruched one. Oh my god. I think for now I'm probably going to keep all of them because they've not been worn and I've recently just got them um, so I think I'm going to like see how it goes this summer and if I don't reach for them or like if I wear like a lot of them, a couple of them more than one then I'll just sell the one I don't wear. It's just like a simple one but I love this, it's satin, it's like the top of the dress that I've got um, so yeah I'm going to keep this as well, I'm really sorry guys. And then I've got a few like extra bits, so this is like a lacy set so i don't really have anything like this it's just like a little top and the skirt is so cute um i recently got rid of like a few of these so i feel like i want to keep this one because it's really cute i don't really have like really anything like that all white set so this is the top and it all ties up in like ribbons um and this is is this a yeah this is a scot so this is really really cute it's like cute and ruffly i think i need to try this on because i don't know if it fits me anymore um so i need to try this on so i'm going to put it in a try on pile i wore this um, when i went on a date with my boyfriend um and i really like it and it's got like cute memories attached to it and i also really like the top it's just i don't know if the pattern and the color is me so i think this needs to go in the try on pile on my brand princess Kachar, i love it it's a dupe of i think the a poly one um is tie up straps honestly it's so pretty it's one of my favorite tops and this is an oh poly course it's a bit small i will say it's a bit small uh, but it's so flattering and it's like off the shoulder drapey straps it's so nice the house of cb asymmetric top so basically it's got like one off the shoulder and one strap so it goes a bit like this it's so cute it's so flattering it's a little bit big for me it's a size small i should have really done with an extra small so i think i need to try this on but the quality of this is so good it's got this top so this is from forever new um from the petite section i actually got it on asos it's so cute i love this so much i've probably worn it to death already top is from sheen um i recently worked with them on a collaboration they sent me and i love it but I have nicer, um, let's just be honest, I have a nicer ones. One is from Old Polly and again, I love this so much but I never wear it so I think it needs to be tried on because if we're going to pick between this and this, this one's winning every time. When Old Polly brought out all of them like cute little tops, I bought all of them, can you tell? This is cute and it's different because it's denim but I, this definitely needs to be tried on and I think it's probably going to go on the selling pile. Um, I love that it's denim, I love that it's tie straps, but I have the other one, the other one with tie straps and I've only worn this once for a photo shoot. I'm going to keep this, um, I don't think I've worn it yet, it's pretty new. It's the same as the white one, but it's in like nude. It's literally the same as the nude dress, wherever it's gone, but in but in the top version i you can just tell i love these they're like my staples for going out right next top i'm keeping this i'm just gonna say it um i love this this is from sheen and it's different i don't have anything like this it's furry it's cute it's fun um i'll probably like grow out of it in the sense of i don't want to wear this anymore in a few months but for now i think it's cute and it's fun so this top a while um this is a vintage karen millen corset between these i would pick this one this one is so much more flattering um so yeah i do think this needs to be tried on um and this this rose isn't really it anymore um but i don't know like how to make it work i don't know if you can if i could literally cut the straps off and make it strapless because the corset itself is really 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 gorgeous this is like an original corset um so it came with a one shoulder strap and then a little strap on the other side i wonder if i can like make it strapless at the minute i wouldn't wear it with the with the flower on so i need to have a look at that one blazer i'm gonna keep it because it's an essential this dress i showed it in a recent haul and i love it it's so different it's so like 
beautiful i can imagine wearing this on holiday it's stunning it's so floaty and ruffly um but again it's too big so it needs to be altered so again it's going on the alteration pile i have two cardigans unfortunately guys i'm going to keep both of them i'm really sorry but i've just got this one um, and it's really cute i think it's the wrong season right now for this but i'm going to see if i wear it in winter and this one I wear all the time. That section's finished. I've got these few couple new tops that I've literally just got. So I'm going to pop these in now. I've got some space. I actually can't believe like how much... It doesn't really look that different, right? But there is honestly so much more space in here. I can fit loads more stuff there. I can see all of my stuff. Like I can literally open my wardrobe before I couldn't even move it. Um, so yeah, this is a little update. update. This is the my repairs pile. Uh, this is my try on pile. And this is my get rid of pile at the minute next stage oh my gosh this looks crazy but i'm gonna try and rush through this as fast as i can so shorts and skirts brown shorts i love these these are staple in like autumn winter so i'm definitely keeping those and this is a brown leather skirt i actually really like this so it's like shorts um, and a skirt at the front i got this on depop the previous shorts were from sheen and um, again just like an autumn winter staple some white denim shorts um I think these are going to be a try on pair of denim jeans. I'm going to sell these because I've recently just got a pair of denim jeans from Primark, which are mom style, and I love them so much more. I feel like they're more my style. So are these shorts? So I love these, but I need to try them on because they are a little bit dark. Um, they're really, really, really cute. They're from Princess Couture, um, my own brand. I really love them, but are a little bit tight. So I need to, well, they were a little bit tight last year, so I need to try them on. These shorts, I absolutely love these. I got these on Depop, they're from Zara. Um, I really, really like, really like them, just like cute throw on shorts. They dress up a really casual outfit, so I'm definitely gonna keep them. Um, these shorts, I got them from Sheen. I really like them again. These are just like really basic throw on shorts, but they're like, not obviously linen, but they're like that kind of style. They're really soft. I'm gonna keep this um, because this is, I feel like it's just like a basic, it's this really cute crochet fabric, I don't have anything really like this, or if I do, it's probably going to be going on sale, um, but yeah, I'm going to keep this, because I've just got it, I don't actually know where it's from, it's from H&M, but I got this like really cheap, so I'm going to keep that. Next, I've got this skirt, and I'm in two minds about this, I do like it, it matches the jacket that I showed earlier, it's like a cardigan that I showed earlier, so I do think I'm going to keep it, but I just, I never really wear it, so I think it's definitely more of a winter thing. I think i'm gonna sell this um this is from sheen i've never worn it 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 doesn't feel the best i don't know what it is um i'm not a massive fan of it i think i've got nicer these shorts i really, really like them i've just got them from tk maxx um these were 5.99 i think they're zara oh no they're bershka they're bershka they're new with tags on i've literally just got them i've not worn them yet but i'm gonna put them in my lounge uh drawer um because i think they're just taking space up there these shorts i haven't worn these yet but i think they're too pink for me and i also think they're not really my style i'm not into like mom shorts i recently got these from runway and these are short i won't lie they're not really my style of short but I really actually do like them. I don't have any shorts in this beige colour. I actually just got these from Zara. Well, they're actually from uh, TK Maxx from Zara X, X Zara. So they were really cheap. Um, I really, really like them. This skirt. This skirt is from Zara from last year. Um, as you can see, still got the tax on. Um, I haven't worn this and I don't think I'm going to wear it. I think it's more winter. I don't know. The style just isn't really my thing. I literally just got these from Boohoo um i really really like them i just haven't worn them yet um i don't really have do i have anything like this i don't think i've got anything like this like like patterned shorts so i'm gonna keep these for now this scarf i've literally just got from jing i love this so much like this is just adorable again i love the color um it's beautiful i'm yet to wear this but the buttons are just beautiful they've got little hearts in them this skirt i recently just got from depop and um, i actually had a similar one um without the ruffle top that i took to london and i loved it but it was too big so that's actually on my depop now if you did like that skirt and um, so i got this one instead i'm actually i haven't even tried it on but it looks a lot more fitted um and it's from river island again so i got a really good still with this on depop so these are new with tags um i got them from morgan they're a size six yeah they're literally new they were meant to be like fifth 50 pounds these are meant to be they're really really good quality i got them for like 20 quid on asos 
Um, I really like them. I don't really have any pink shorts as you've seen. I prefer these to the denim ones, so I'm going to keep these for now. This skirt. See, I feel like I don't really have a cream tweed skirt. Now I've got rid of the other one. So I definitely need a cream tweed skirt, but I don't know if this is the one for me. So this is from Sheen, and I actually got this gifted a while ago, but I feel like the quality isn't the best. I don't need to get like a cream tweed skirt if I don't keep this one. No brainer, I'm keeping this. I've just got this from ASOS and I've already worn it like four times. I love it, I love it, it's so cute. Love these again, these are from Sheen. They literally look like Zara dupes. Um, they're such a stable piece. I've worn them a few times um, and definitely gonna get my wear out of them this year for spring and summer. Um, but you can even wear it kind of like into the autumn with like boots and stuff, they're so cute. Yeah, I, I'm i gonna sell these. Um, I tried to get into the mint trend and I prefer like the mint green dress that I've got. I don't think I need that much mint in my wardrobe. It's not really me, I've tried and it's not for me i've not worn them they're new with tags and um, they're like the primark um mint green shorts that i feel like i've sold out everywhere so yeah these are gonna go on my depop next is this skirt and this is from sheen again new with tags i haven't worn it it's i wish the skirt was just white and i wish it was literally just like the white tweed because it's so cute it's got like specks of gold in it and i love like gold and like metallic like threading clothes i think it's so beautiful so yeah i'm gonna sell this one so yeah go and shop my deep if, if you like that on to this one another one from sheen oh my god it's actually not got tags in it i thought this had tags in but this is like a wraparound skirt it's really cute it's so different it's that jacquard fabric it's lovely but i just don't think i'm gonna wear it it's been sitting in my wardrobe for so long i've not picked it up um and i just don't think i'm gonna wear it so yeah i think this is gonna go on my depop as well also this skirt I love this skirt too much, this is from Sheen, I feel like everyone's going to want this skirt, it's beautiful, it's tweed and it's A-line, it's got these cute little pockets and pill buttons and metallic thread, it's just so cute, so I'm definitely keeping that. And then these white shorts are from Princess Couture, I love them, I don't really have much like this, these are like really structured with all the buttons, oh, I just love them so much. The last bottoms are these denim shorts, these are the denim shorts I've literally just picked up from Primark, these are mom style jean shorts, um, I just feel like you need like one staple pair of denim shorts to chuck on in summer, so that is it for bottoms, so let's put them all back in my wardrobe. <laughs> I actually can't believe during that I actually got rid of half of my bottoms which I'm actually really really impressed with because I genuinely do wear like pretty much all of these obviously there's a few that I'm just still a little bit like not sure of um, but I'm going to see like if I get the wear of them in summer and if not then I will sell them um, and I'm going to move these two to my winter section because I'm not going to wear either of these now. In the blazer section so I've got blazers and tweed stuff so I'm going to rush through this so I'm keeping this, this is my Balmain blazer but it needs fixing so it's going in the fixing pile um, this is my ultimate favourite blazer ever in this world but it needs fixing, all the buttons have fallen off. These two set, I've literally just got these, so these are from my uh, boutique Princess Kachar, they're so cute, I've literally just got them. Um, this is pink one and this white one, they're both so cute, they're like the velour sets. I think I'm going to put them in my lounge drawer because they're a little bit like the Wonder Doll sets. Um, if you've seen them before, um, they're both like new with tags, I've not even worn them yet, but I think I'm going to put them in my lounge drawer. Got this dress um, and I love this, this is again from my boutique, it's a little bit small so I need to try it back on again. This set is a definite keep, this is my Zara set, the shorts are too big so they need taken in, I wonder if like at some point I will outgrow this for, but for now, I really love it, it is quite pink actually, it's a bit too pink for me but... I can't get rid of it yet. I just I just love it. This is from Daisy Bespoke. It is a genuine one. Um, for now, I'm definitely going to keep this because I love this set. Um, and it's proper toweling fabric. It was actually really expensive, but I got it on Depop secondhand. So I saved a little bit of money with that. But again, it's, it's loungewear, but this one looks more dressed up because it's got more of a puff sleeve to it. So this is going to go uh, back in my wardrobe. Literally just got, I got it on Depop. It's got tags on it. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. So it's blue, but it's got like specks of green in it. I really wanted a blue tweed set, but I just, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like I need to try it on and try and style it. And if I don't like it, I'm definitely going to sell it because the skirt is like very short and the 
blazer is like super cropped yeah, it needs to go in my skirt so i don't know why it wasn't here but this is from neon rose i took it to london and it is my favorite tweed skirt of all time the quality is beautiful i love everything about this jacket i'm gonna sell this this is the matching jacket to the white tweed skirt um so maybe i'll just like get rid of both of them and sell them as a set because I'm gonna keep this for now. I do feel like it's quite wintry. So this is like a long line blazer from Sheen. It's, it is it is big for me. So this is a problem. But it looks really cute with white jeans and leather pants. Like, I don't know if you can see, but like these colour leather pants and like white jeans it looks really cute with. This is the last thing. This is the matching um, kind of like top to go with the skirt from Neon Rose. Um, for now I'm gonna keep this, but I might sell this. Not yet, uh, but but i need to try it on because it's not very flattering um i tried to take this jacket with me to london but it didn't look right because this is quite long and it's very boxy it's quite um like masculine like i would say the style um even though it's such like a feminine piece um so yeah it's definitely a maybe i'm gonna put this in the try on pile but i'm definitely keeping the skirt because i'm attached the skirt is like in my heart but this I don't really love it that much. This is so much cuter, in it? This is so much cuter. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm actually so impressed with myself. So this is now the current wardrobe situation. So I've just put, like, some of them blazers in here now. I've got room. Um, I've put them shorts in there as well that I showed you guys. Um, some couple two-piece sets. I've still got loads of room in here. Like, I've just kind of crammed it up, but there's loads of room. I can actually, like, move and see my clothes and stuff. I mean, I feel like there's definitely some more stuff I can get rid of. But for now, like, I'm really happy with that. Um, I didn't want to be too brutal because I don't want to regret anything so yeah for now i'm really really happy with this selection we'll see what i wear this year and then in a few more months i'll do another one of these this is definitely another day so if you do want to see the drawers another time then let me know because i've got work stuff jeans uh, pajamas loungewear one of the biggest differences so i've got rid of half of my bottoms i genuinely wear pretty much all of these so i'm really happy with that and i also had a clear out of everything that was behind here as well just feel so much more fresh and um, this is a pile of stuff to try on but most of this stuff will be going on the selling pile i think but it does just need to be tried on just to make sure because i do have a little bit of love for this stuff still and all of this down here is for sale so there's literally <laughs> A massive chunk of stuff here that's all going to be going on my depop and my instagram selling page so i will leave everything in the description and i'll leave links so you can go and shop it there actually look at this massive empty rail now ignore like the stuff at the bottom of my wardrobe but there's an empty rail so i'm going to put my stuff that needs fixing on this rail and i know where it is then i can gradually work through it and there we go that is everything for this video i really hope you have enjoyed watching this i know it's a little bit of a different video for me but i actually thought it was pretty fun and it actually gave me so much motivation like going through it with you guys like I felt like I was having someone telling me like stop dwelling over these clothes like if you don't wear it just get rid of it that's how I feel um, and like I said little disclaimer um, I do get sent some clothes you know I do get gifted clothes from brands and stuff so that is why I do have a lot of clothes um, and I'm also a little bit of a shopaholic so all these clothes will not be getting thrown they'll be going on um, Depop and my Instagram is going to be getting resold um, so yeah go and head there if you are interested in my clothes I do upload stuff all the time um, and also go and shop my own boutique Princess Couture which is where a lot of my clothes from as well so you got to see a little bit of preview of that i think soon i'm going to do some styling videos for spring summer get used to some of these clothes and show you guys how i style some outfits um and i think i'm also going to do a video of like a little haul from my own brand um and do like a try on haul and show you some bits that i love so yeah if you want to see the videos do let me know i really hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye guys